From desert to jungle, the Andes Mountains to the Pacific Ocean, Peru, South America is one of the most geographically diverse countries in the world. The more than 29 million people who live there come from many different origins and carry a mixture of European and Incan culture. Many people in the larger cities are heavily influenced as well by Western culture. 81% Roman Catholic, Peruvians are also being spiritually influenced by the many Mormon and Jehovah's Witness missionaries who come to spread their false teachings. We know that these religions do not offer the peace that knowing Jesus Christ does. The answer to spiritual darkness in any place is not a religion, but a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. As we have watched recent political developments, we see Peru's leaders being influenced by neighboring nations toward a communistic type of government. We truly believe that the time is short that we will have the freedom to speak freely of Christ without governmental intrusion or persecution. God's Word says in John 9, 4, that we must work now before night cometh and no man can work. Hi. We are the Stover family, Robert, Sarah, Josiah, Caleb, and Joshua, missionaries to Peru, South America. We are sent through the Carrollton Baptist Temple in Carrollton, Ohio, where David Powell is pastor. Our mission board is Macedonia World Baptist Missions. We have just completed our first term on the field and are excited to share with you all that the Lord has done in the past three years. In July of 2008, we arrived in Arequipa, Peru. This white city, named for the white volcanic rock of which many of its buildings are constructed, is growing to a population of now close to one million people, making it the second largest city in Peru. From poverty-stricken areas with no running water to modern shopping malls with fancy American restaurants, Arequipa is definitely a city of diversity. During our first year in Arequipa, we attended language school and worked in the Faith Baptist Church. We thank the Lord for this time of learning and the opportunities to minister and form relationships there. We were able to hold a weekly Bible study in our home and to teach English classes as an outreach to the community. We saw several families and individuals visit our church and some accept the Lord through this ministry. Upon completing language school, I began to teach several mornings a week in the Macedonia Baptist Bible College. It has been a blessing to have a part in the training of young people being prepared for the ministry. In July of 2009, we had the opportunity to spend nine months assisting in the planning of a new church, the Omega Baptist Church. We thank the Lord for the opportunity to work there and the things we were able to learn. It truly is exciting to see a new church growing, new Sunday school classes opening up, and God providing for specific needs. In April of 2010, the Lord directed our family to work in the Vision Baptist Church alongside Pastor David Ramos and his family. This was a small new work that celebrated its second anniversary just after we began to work there. We thank the Lord for the opportunity we have had to see souls saved, believers discipled, and people growing in their Christian walk. In 2 Timothy 2.2, the Bible says, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. At Vision, we had the opportunity to work heavily in this important part of ministry. From weekly visits, for one-on-one -on -one discipleship, to leaders Bible studies, we worked constantly in teaching God's word so that these people could in turn teach others also. We know that God's plan for world evangelism consists not only in addition of new souls, but also through the process of multiplication. How exciting to see a new Christian bringing his lost friends to church and telling them about the one who has changed his life. This is truly the goal. We count it a blessing to be able to serve the Lord as missionaries and are looking forward to returning to the field of Peru in January of 2013. Please pray with us that the believers we have left in Arequipa will continue to grow spiritually and be faithful to the Lord, for safety as we travel this year, and for God's direction and guidance as we continue in the work. Please pray that God would use us to see many souls saved and churches planted for His honor and glory. Thank you for remembering to pray for our family 
the Stovers, as we serve the Lord in Peru, South America.